Hey, welcome back, I'm Rob here from Ram Studio Comics. So in today's video, I'm drawing this zombie-like character. I just watched uh, Last of Us, uh, the first two episodes. Uh, fantastic start to that series. Uh, I won't talk about it because, you know, if you want to check it out, check it out. But it's it's going to be really hard to be a game that's just freaking amazing, you know, as far as storytelling goes. But they're off to a great start. But it basically inspired me to draw this zombie character. And one of the things that I wanted to mention with this one is when when doing rendering this way where I drop in a very loose sketch and I just start rendering uh, little details uh, as I go, I find it to be very uh, relaxing. I find it to be very creatively charging. Okay, so it, it like allows me to get out of a bad rut where I'm, you know, maybe trying too hard and I'm trying to make things clean and precise and then all of a sudden I can just let go and put down whatever and connect the dots and make it work. So I do, as I've mentioned in other videos, I do find this to be easier with characters like, you know, uh, zombies or venom or something monstrous. When I go to draw something that's concise or pretty or clean, it's a different thought process and I tend to botch it. You know, I just tend to like try too hard and, and something else happens in my mind. But when it's something like this, it's gritty and messy. I can just have fun with it and let go. Um, I mean, maybe there's more to it than that. Maybe there's something in there to do with my, my psychosis. I don't know. But um, I find it to be very fun and, and, again, almost like meditative or or allows me to be more creative. And then I usually do better on my next few pieces. So I do this every now and then almost as a way to loosen up and let go. Because, again, and I think it's something that ties in with digital art as well. It's, it's really easy to become overly stiff with digital art so i you know i'm drawing this obviously on an ipad pro with the app procreate and it's you know the hard screen and everything and you know tons of people complain about it and i totally get it like it it feels more rigid and it's easier to tense up and just suck the life <laughs> as i'm looking at a zombie suck the life right out of the art like so you have to like combat that with different techniques um like some people you know, we'll mention sliding around on the screen, how that's so annoying, and I totally get that. I do try to embrace that at times um, to, again, to loosen up. It's like, look how bad those trees are. I'm just, I'm like literally letting the pen glide across the screen uh, and just going, well, I can fix it as I tighten up and, and sometimes holding back from that tightening up process. But um, another thing I did want to mention in this video is that I, I've got some new brushes out, so if you guys want to check those out, they're for Procreate. I've got a free set and a paid set. I'll make sure links to those are in the description box below. It helps me continue to do the work on the channel. Uh, so thank you for that. But if you got any questions about this particular art or this style of, of rendering, let me know and I can do a more in-depth uh, approach to it for you, tutorial on that. Um, and I really appreciate you tuning in and watching. Uh, I hope that just by watching this stuff, it inspires you and, and gives you some ideas for what you can do uh, with your own art. Thanks very much for tuning in. As always, keep drawing, keep having fun, and I'll talk to you soon.